three, a two. All right, son, it's time for bed. I'm gonna read you a story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an ordinary hillbilly family that lived in a normal trailer somewhere in Michigan. They were the Liptons. One morning, Frances Lipton made her usual trip to the 7-Eleven for her breakfast, which was a purple Slurpee. She started up the machine, but it malfunctioned and exploded. She died a horrible death. Clip Lipton, her husband, was stricken with grief from his, death's, his wife's death. To try and escape the pain, he took his young son, Frank, ah! to the woods in the north for a camping trip. All was well for a while until the day that Frank and his father went out hunting in a thunderstorm. Clip Lipton was struck by lightning and fell to the ground, dead. Frank Lipton stood alone, helpless, and crying in the woods. <laughs> All of a sudden, a huge crowd of native African spider monkeys flew toward him. Frank screamed and fainted. monkeys took him back to their domain and decided to raise him as their own. The next day, the spider monkeys tried to ask Frank what his name was. They quickly discovered that Frank had a bad speech impediment that made him have a German accent. He told him his name was Franz Lichten. Franz Lichten! <laughs> From then on, he was known as Franz Lichten. Franz Lichten grew into a hideous young man. He ended up growing an extra finger on each hand and an extra toe on each foot to try to become like the spider monkeys that raised him. He spent his days flying through the trees as they did. However, one day, he started feeling like his life was pointless. He headed into Flint, Michigan to try and find a purpose for his life. Seeing all the crime and poverty around him, he decided How to Fight Crime seminar where he met other people who wanted to become superheroes. First, he met a pasty white man who called himself Vampire. <laughs> vampire was a vampire who did not really help people since he tried to suck their blood whenever they were wounded and bleeding. He also met another seemingly normal looking man named Globulin. Globulin was not normal at all though. He had webbed fingers and toes. He didn't really know why he wanted to be a superhero. He didn't have any special powers, except he could swim really good. However, he was deaf, so he never heard any of the ambulances or people's cries for help. The third person Franz met was Ted. Ted was, mm, did not want to be a superhero. He just came to the seminars to eat the food. The four of them quickly became friends and decided to create a crime-fighting alliance. Franz Lipton was chosen as their leader. Ah! Every day, Franz Lichten would purchase a newspaper to find out where all the bad things were happening so he could save some lives. The only problem was, he couldn't read, so the four of them never really did anything. They were a scary looking bunch of guys, so people tended to avoid them. They spent their days living in dumpsters in the back of alleyways. After many years, Franz was getting too old to be wandering around. He decided that he needed a nice place to settle down, and a hobby. He searched the surrounding areas for a nice trailer park to settle down in, just like the one he grew up in. In the town of Mount Morris, just a few miles from Flint, he found a lovely little trailer park that was just what he was looking for. He searched around and found a brown, abandoned trailer. He wiggled his way underneath the trailer and found that there was tons of cats living under there. Franz fed off the cats and was very happy. <laughs> One day, a young boy was playing in the yard of a green trailer next door that Franz looked in. Franz was very curious and decided to wait until nighttime to investigate the boy. When the moon was high in the sky, he climbed a tree and glared into the young boy's bedroom. Every night, Franz looked in and made a habit grabbing a delicious cat, climbing his tree, and watching the young boy sleep. And that is where Franz Lipton remains to this day. So whenever you see something move outside your window and you live in a trailer park, you can be sure that you weren't imagining it. It was Franz Lipton climbing his tree.
Ah! <laughs> you while you sleep. The end. Sleep good, son. <laughs> I don't think you're cool.